<laughs> Ollie, Ollie B is got him actually from my aunt. My aunt is a hospice nurse and she was visiting a patient whose son was breeding dogs and had no business breeding dogs. She actually wanted to take all of them. She noticed that one of the Yorkies was pregnant. So um, asked me if I wanted a Yorkie to replace what she thought I needed a replacement for Ollie was. No matter how much I said no, she decided to buy one. She paid the guy up front a sum of like $1,200 for a dog. $1,200. $1,200 and prepaid before the dog was even born. And once I found out that I couldn't let it, I couldn't tell her no. She had already paid for it. So what were we going to do? The dogs were born. I went and sat in the middle of the floor and Ollie sat in my lap. And the, the guy said, what you have to do is wear the same cologne or something to see. I was like, no, I don't want to do that. I just, I'll come back. And if the same dog comes up to me, we'll be fine. So a week later, I came back and I sat on the floor. Same dog, got on my lap. I said, okay, this one was meant for me. So I, at 12 weeks, I took him home. And he has been hell on wheels since then. He, no matter how many classes, we've had two training classes and a behavioral class. He still barks at dogs. He still wants to bite dogs. He will not bite you, but he will pull at your hair like a baby. He will sit, at the, if you're sitting on the sofa, back, he'll do this to your hair. And it's no, he's just doing it. I'm like, Ollie, what are you doing? And he'll just sit there, like rub on your hair. Or he'll sit at your foot and he'll rub on your foot. Like a person, who does that? <laughs> so I've had two dogs in my life and they, they're, they're neat. Um, Ollie is a Razorback dog though. So he's been to the bar with me. And he's had a snout on his face, a pig snout. And he goes to, we are, uh, watch parties are at Messner's Bar on the north side of Chicago, and they will allow me to bring Ollie in and kick it with the rest of us. <laughs> as long as we're, we're either at the bar when nobody's really there or we're in the back during the, the watch parties, as long as he has on a Razorback T-shirt and a snout, he's a part of the watch party. So that's probably why he thinks he's human. <laughs>